the bass sorter here is a, is a bass sorter instrument used for preparing a staple fiber diagram note its main parts here is the rack that holds a set of 12 bottom combs note the three top combs that can be lifted off when necessary And here are the associated accessories used in a test. This is a pair of tweezers to grip the fiber tuft. This is a depressor to press the fiber into the bottom combs. Here is a blunt needle that helps to hold the fiber tuft. This metal piece helps to position the fibers. This black velvet pad is the surface on which the fiber array will be developed. And this plastic scale is for making measurements. To perform a test, first take a representative tuft of cotton from the bulk or given sample. Then mix the fibers well using the four fingers and thumbs of both hands as demonstrated. Next turn the instrument around as shown so its backside faces the operator and lift the top combs away from the bottom combs. Now place the fiber tuft on the bottom combs at the right hand side as shown and press it down gently using the depressor. Using the tweezers, grip the tips of the outermost protruding fibers, pull them out, comb them several times on the bottom combs and finally place them on the bottom combs at the left hand side such that the gripped end is flush with the foremost comb as shown. This action is repeated patiently and carefully until all of the fibers at the right, including fiber removed from the combings, have been transferred to the left. Now turn the instrument so its front faces the operator and insert the top combs over the bottom combs. These combs help to grip the fibers well and prevent their slippage in the next step. Drop the bottom combs successively one by one until the tips of the longest fibers in the tuft are visible. Now, grip the ends of these fibers, comb and transfer them to the velvet pad as shown so that the gripped end is flush with the baseline and the fibers are close to the vertical line on the pad. Drop the next lower comb, pull out any fibers visible and as before transfer them to the velvet pad next to the previously laid fibers so that the new fibers overlap on the old ones by about quarter inch as shown. Repeat this operation dropping comb after comb 
until all the fibers have been transferred such that a uniformly dense array of fibers is formed on the pad. The fiber array that you see now is then traced onto paper and then using Clegg's construction as explained in the textbook and demonstrated by means of an animation, the given fiber's length characteristics are calculated.